<laughs> this is Orla Doherty, possibly the most patient producer director I've ever worked with. And together, we spent almost 500 hours in this tiny bubble behind us. This is Gavin Thurston, top wildlife cameraman. I've had the privilege of working with him for weeks on end, giving him chocolate to keep him happy. The worst thing about it is when we're in front of something absolutely incredible, knowing that we're only going to be with it for about 10 minutes and missing the moment because the sub moves or the current drifts us or whatever it is, and we knowing that we'll never, ever see that animal, that landscape again. This wasn't meant to be our day. I don't, I don't think this dive has really worked. The problems have been endless. Uh, camera's not working, light's not working. Finding you get down to 900 meters, like sort of record-breaking depths beneath the ocean, three of you in that tiny sub to find out you've only got two sandwich boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Diving here, well, there was concern about seals. Not, that's not Arctic seal, or Antarctic seals. We're talking about the O-rings that actually stop water coming into the submarine. And Ralph said, Orla, you just keep an eye on that hatch and make sure it's not leaking. And I honestly thought he was joking, but he wasn't. The highlight for me has been seeing animals that we believe are surface animals that live in the top layer of the ocean and encountering them at phenomenal depths, like swordfish coming straight at us at 700 meters, and yes, there was screaming. Just getting a whole new insight into how deep these animals work, that how their world is so much bigger than we ever imagined. That's been incredible. Occasionally, all are swapped out and let the scientists come into the deep. And I would say to the scientists, you see that thing there? We've been seeing a lot of those. What's that? And the scientist goes, I have no idea. And it's fantastic to think there are things 800 metres beneath our feet now are things that nobody's seen before that we don't even know what they are.